Now we can put the track together and it's uh, pretty simple really. I'm just going to use some filament just off of a roll that I've got laying around. First thing you're going to want to do is just grab a piece of track and your filament and where this tab is you'll feed that through and make sure it's it goes all the way through and, and seats into the bottom of this one and then you'll take some cutters like these and just cut that off right flush like that and that'll give you the length that you need your pin to be so you can then take that out and you can go ahead and just use that to cut yourself a whole bunch of these little pins. Now if you if you prefer to to use um, some wire, like some stainless steel wire instead of instead of the filament, uh, you're you're welcome to do that too. Uh, there of course is a chance that the filament will get brittle and break and you'll have to replace it. Um, where with wire that probably wouldn't happen. So far I've been just using filament and every now and again it does break and you just have to separate it and, and put in a new piece but for me I don't find that to be a big deal. But anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get all these cut and then uh, I'll be back when I'm there. And I'm back. I've got a whole bunch of these pins cut. So once you get to this point we can start putting track together. Now you're gonna do a a double paddle and a single paddle. And they should just line up like that. You'll then take a pin and just work it in and it should go flush. If, if you got your length correct on all those it should go flush. And so you can go ahead and just start putting these all together. And you'll need a total of 38 uh, track pieces. Um, yeah, 38 will make your whole whole length. So you'll get them together like that, and you can do your whole length if you want, or you can do it a little bit at a time. But once you get it to that point, we're going to take a uh, a lighter um, or a match or something. And you'll want to heat just just this little tab here that sticks out. You don't want to melt melt or heat up the rest of the track. We're just trying to warm up this little tab, and we just want it warm enough that we can fold it over. We don't want to smush it into this so that it can't be brought apart if we need to later. We're just going to warm it so that it can can cover that pin so the pin doesn't come out. Just like that. And you really shouldn't use your fingers. Try using like a, a hobby knife or a butter knife or something to help lay that down over that uh, pin. Okay? So something like that. And then you'll just go along and do that for uh, each one of these. And again, don't use your fingers. I, I really don't want anybody to burn themselves. Um, let's see, I think I might have a hobby knife right here. So you could use like a hobby knife to, to get that blade on there and just kind of press that over. Um, just so that you don't don't end up burning yourself, and be careful to not uh, not get things too hot. There we go. We just we just want it to simply fold over and cover that cover that pin so that that 
pin doesn't uh, work its way out. All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and get this this all put together and, and be back in just a second. So here we are with the 38 pieces of track. They're all put together. I've gone ahead and, and uh, melted all those little tabs. And uh, it's ready to ready to be put on the sled. Now you can do that now or you can wait until you've got other parts on the on there, but uh, I think I'll show how it's done now. Let's see, the easiest way is probably going to be if you put it upside down like this. <clears throat> now you want your paddles facing like that. Hopefully that uh, is clear in the camera. Um, they, they have a slight cup to them and so they should go a specific way. I'm going to feed this down through this front sprocket if it'll fit. It's a bit of a tight fit with that um, tab not being folded over on that last on that last piece of track now let's try that with the end that doesn't have the tab so to do that we'll slide it through the bottom here technically the top I guess there we go and that that fits through much easier. So once you've got it through and make sure that you're lined up on the on the sprocket inside and, and its tabs there. So make sure that's lined up. And then you'll bring this track together. Now I haven't tightened the um, tensioning yet. So it should make it a little more simple to get these pieces together. And we're just going to stretch that track until it meets up. And then feed that pin down in there. Alright, so once you get that in place, we can then go ahead and fold over our last tab here. Okay, so now we've got our track in place, and uh, it might take a little bit of working to get things to start to uh, mesh nicely together. Um, so don't be alarmed if if things seem a little stiff at the beginning. Um, it's just going to take running it through a few times to get everything to really want to mesh together. But then we can also now um, come to the back side here and we're going to want to tension these up so that uh, so that this track has a, a, a fair bit of tension. That This is definitely too loose. Um, we just want to tension that up and then um, later on when we get the motor installed and we start running we'll then adjust our tension to keep the track straight on there. All right, but uh, so for now, go ahead and put a little bit of tension on those and then uh, we're getting close to being able to test this thing. So here, I've gone ahead and tensioned this up so that there's some tension on, on that. You still want a little bit of movement but it it's got tension on it and uh, now it's rolling pretty good so because this is fresh and and the your um, track pieces may have not all printed perfect um, you know that bottom 
opening where the sprocket connects might have you know a little hair or something in there and so every now and again like right here I've got one that's that's binding a little bit but as you start to run it that's all going to loosen up but you might get some binding like that right there but it'll all kind of work its way out as as we begin to run run this machine so there we are you should be should be at that point right there